Well, here's an update. We were at February 28th. Last video was December 26th. Here's our lettuce. We've been growing lettuce now for oh, over two months. It's getting to the point where we're gonna, we're working on uh, growing some new, new lettuce. And behind here, we got some new lettuce growing to replace this we've been oh it's been growing like a weed our onions here you've been having an abundance of all you can eat onions they're almost uh ready to get some new onions growing we've had onions for two months now here's my pepper plant we're going to have peppers growing on there shortly that's growing really nice we take a peek over here our parsley is growing in abundance. We can start uh, harvesting our parsley. Here's our spinach. We can start using that. We're getting an abundance of that too. We have some smaller tomato plants now already to replace this one here. You take a look at this one here. We do have tomatoes. Take a look inside here. Now you take a look right there. We got cherry tomatoes all over in here. We got tomatoes down here, all throughout. More tomatoes down here. So just wait for them to mature and turn color. Forgot to tell you, this little guy right here, romaine lettuce. It's coming along nicely. And if you take a look over here, we have some more lettuce and romaine getting started under the lights also for us. So there you have it. It's growing quite nice. Oh, and before we were using color strips for testing our pH. Well, now we invested in this guy right here. This is a digital pH meter so you can uh, keep track a lot closer to our water conditions and this here measures your part per million particles in our water so what happens now just using our pH strips we fill that pail full of water and I've been using five gallons of water pretty much every week. So if it goes down halfway, we top it up with water. But before we had the digital meters, I added water with mixed fertilizer in it and topped it up. Well, that caused too much fertilizer in my water and my parsley started to turn purple. It's very fussy, obviously. So. You can't control how much fertilizer you have in your water without a digital meter. Hence, buying a digital meter. Now, I can top up my pail. It's due to be topped up shortly. It's about halfway down. I will fill it right up with water and then test it. I'm trying to keep the PPMs around 800 parts per million. So... I'll top this up. It'll probably be down to about 600 parts per million. Then I will take my fertilizer and add a couple of teaspoons and bring up the parts per million. Two to three teaspoons to get me back up to 800 parts per million. And check my pH. And try. it should be kept around six. If it gets too high, we get add some pH down. This way, I don't have to replace the water as often. I can keep adding water and keeping an eye out for my particles, parts per million, and just keep topping up the water. And then you only have to replace the water every, I don't know, three weeks or so. You can try to go even longer. That's always good to keep that pail nice and clean, but there you go. Hopefully that helps. I'd also like to tell you too, 
when you're getting water lines, get the black ones. I'm getting LJ growing in the clear lines because it's clear and this little line gets plugged up. So I will be down the road replacing this clear one with black flexible plastic so LJ doesn't grow. Keeps the system from getting plugged up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya on our next update.